Welcome to Issues in Japan. The topic this time is Japan to extend toughened border restrictions. According to the NHK World News, Japan's Prime Minister Kishida Fumio says he intends to extend toughened border restrictions into early next year to deal with the Omicron variant. The government on November 30 implemented measures that effectively banned new entry of all foreign nationals and added stricter quarantine rules for anyone returning from countries where the Omicron variant had been confirmed. The measures were originally set to be in place for one month. Kishida told reporters on Saturday that he had taken the toughest measures of all group of seven nations because the variant had many unknowns. He says the measures will continue until early next year, and that they could be extended. Moreover, according to the Japan Times, Prime Minister Fumio Kishida said Saturday that Japan will extend its tight entry rules until at least early next year to prevent the spread of the Omicron variant of the coronavirus. The government initially said the rules. Banning new entry by foreign nationals worldwide and requiring returning Japanese nationals and foreign residents to quarantine in government designated facilities would be in place for about a month to the year's end. Kishida told reporters that the government will continue with the rules until more details of the Omicron variant are known. We will study the situation after the year end and New Year's holiday, he said. Japan reversed an easing of controls late last month as Omicron spread around the world. The country has one of the world's strictest border policies, with only citizens and foreign residents allowed to enter, in principle. Although COVID 19 cases have fallen dramatically since a deadly wave in August, there is growing concern over the Omicron variant, which has been found more than 30 times in Japan. Mostly during airport screenings and quarantine. But the threat of a community spread of the variant has grown after a woman in her 20s tested positive for Omicron while she was quarantining at her home in Tokyo after arriving from Texas on December 8. The woman did not abide by the rules that she pledged to follow after entry, namely, to not come into contact with others during the isolation period. That led to the infection of a man in his 20s, who visited the woman two times last week. He tested positive for the Omicron variant on Friday. The man had developed a fever and a cough two days before attending a Emperor's Cup match at Todoroki Stadium in Kawasaki on Sunday, media reports have said. Prompting authorities to scramble to reach out to about 80 people who sat near him at the game and at least 100 people who work on the same floor at his workplace. On Thursday, the Health Ministry's Coronavirus Advisory Board urged the government to beef up protection measures at ports and airports and conduct PCR screenings to detect variants for all COVID 19 cases. On the assumption that it will spread in the country sooner or later. So far, the government has denied that the latest cases are examples of community infection, saying they are closely monitored cases that are traceable, even if they slipped through the initial testing at airports. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.